two guests today. I'm very excited about the show because these guys are great. Uh, you know Dan Harmon from, he created the amazing TV show Community. And uh, yeah. Whoa. And, uh, and wow. Steve Agee has created shit. some amazing vines. <laughs> <laughs> On your feet, assholes. I feel like someone stood up. He's like the Dan Harmon of Vine. <laughs> yeah, you really are. You're, they're just a lot less. It's a lot more work to make a TV series <laughs> yeah. than a Vine, but you that. both knock it out of the park. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Day after day, week after week. Um, what are you doing now, Dan? Like, uh, community's gone again. Like, it, yeah. I guess it's been canceled as many times as it's been picked up. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's a real Lazarus. Uh, it's <laughs> a, uh, um, but more so, because Lazarus, I think, was just the one time, right? Um, I'm doing Rick and Morty and Adult Swim. It's a cartoon. Oh, right It's on. really fun. Right. Everybody likes it. it I can have that's just true. as many viewers there as I had at NBC, but it could be called a hit. Yeah, that's huge over yeah. there. That's great. That's very cool. And He's also got an amazing documentary called Harmontown, which I saw at the screening of the other night. You oh, saw yeah. it, uh, yeah, just recently, yeah, uh, two great. nights ago. Yeah. I, I wanted to go to that, but I ended up getting really sick instead. Uh, and um, what, what's going on with that movie? Is it uh, can people see it sometime soon? Uh, yeah, I th I, I'm going to guess within the next couple of months. I, I, I've never been in this that part of the business before. This whole indie film distribution sure. stuff. It kind of eludes me. I, I th It'll I be like rolled out oh. city to city. It'll start in New York and LA, that kind of thing. I doubt it. I think it's. I, th I think in a couple of months after all the deals are made and stuff, it'll just drop on the internet like oh, okay. a, like the bag of potatoes it is. Yeah, well, and on demand and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's called Harm in Town, and it, and you probably recognize that name if you listen to his podcast Harm in Town. They're actually making a, a new thing called On a Little Bit of Demand. Uh, <laughs> just, just anticipate. It's a, it's a new. It's a, I kind of want it. Yeah, kind of want it. That's what I'm it's not, called. I'm not a demanding person. <laughs> On <laughs> afterthought. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so the idea is that we're minutes away from uh, starting to smoke, and we've got uh, all the pipes on the table are full. And um, I know, it's ridiculous. It's and you guys amazing. also, uh, a sponsor of the show is Blackout X, so each of you get one of these, oh, which is a, fucking cool. this is a hot new product. It's a, a disposable, and we'll, let's smoke these right at 420. Okay. It's a disposable uh, vape pen. So you use it for a little while, and then you just chuck it. And it's really light, and it travels. Like, TSA doesn't care. But what happens At when least I, not I'm, yet, anyway. But what I'm happens when I'm it. out of this? Uh, well, I come back dude, and do your load show up your again. bag with them. There's, they're always doing specials where you get several for uh, one price. Right now, you can get uh, the pens are $9.99 each, and normally they're uh, much more expensive. Than that. Just put that anywhere. <laughs> and, uh, and right now, there's 250 available at this price. If you go to the, uh, we'll put the uh, e uh, the uh, website. Cool. We'll put the web website up. And um, yeah, you can put oil and wax and liquid oh, inside sure, really? here. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah, whatever your uh, whatever your poison. I know Steve and I. Okay. Have, we've done uh, we've done uh, hits off of your vapor pen at uh, Jonah Ray's wedding. <laughs> that was the best wedding I'd ever been to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, real nice. It's four nineteen, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, Jonah. I guess I guess your eternal nuptials weren't uh, no, recreational it's, enough. It should be great for everybody. Yeah. You know. That's and true. And it was, and it was outdoors. And at one point, a train went by loudly right behind the ceremony. It was neat. What are you gonna do at their uh, child's baptism? You gonna shoot up crack? <laughs> Whatever I do, I'm going to blow it in that kid's face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's never too early to start. I don't think you'll have to. I no. Mean, genetically speaking. But, uh, right? Yeah. I mean, Jonah's kid, it's like a Xerox of, of facts. Well, since you brought it up, <laughs> yeah. since you brought it up, uh, Jonah and uh, Steve were uh, on an episode of Getting Dug With High that we did live at Largo, and they both became uh, catatonic. Uh, at one point. Jonah more so than me. Oh, sure. He was really bad. But that's because he doesn't normally smoke. But you smoke a lot. You're really reacting more to the uh, doing it in front of a crowd. Yeah, that was weird. That was rough for you. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, this is weird, and there's only 300 people in here. <laughs> right, so somebody help me. This is a, it's like a tampon applicator. I, 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 I'm looking at strings. I'm looking at... I've never... What are you trying to do to it? Well, what do you, did you when put something in it? gives you a gift, you just take it apart? Yeah, just hit it. Did it, what, wait, it had, it's, it's ready to go. It had something in it in the box. Yeah, it's ready to go. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. We put it in the box because ceremonial. Yeah, yeah. I was very. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. So just hitting it. It was like, like TV activation. or movie packaging. Don't you hate it when somebody gets a present in a movie or TV show and they don't want to rewrap it a bunch of times? So the bo the top lifts off, even yeah, though it's yeah, wrapped. Yeah, yeah. The top lifts right off. Like, who wraps presents like that? Right. But they do it in TV and movies because wow. they got to do another take. All right. Yeah, so just hit it. And a little green light lights up to let you know that it's happening and to alert the authorities. Did you say what kind of <laughs> weed is in this? Uh, this is what's in it today, Brett? Blue drain. Blue drain. I'm allergic to that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's vapor? Because it kind of seems like pot smoke. Mm hmm. But if that's going to go away, I could do that secretly on an airplane and they wouldn't know. They would airplane smell it. would be, people would be like, what's that coming out of your mouth? You it looks like smoke. Right. Uh, even the, I wouldn't even do it in an airplane restroom because that's some sketchy, that's they arrest you when the plane lands if you smoke in the oh. airplane restroom. But it seems to be lingering too. Like I had a, I used a vaporizer in a restaurant at one point and it was like, holy shit, this is like, this is the perfect crime because it's. But it didn't get you very high though, right? Probably not. Yeah, see, maybe this that, is, maybe this that, is mean, the real so thing. So this is like. This is the real deal. Smoke. It's more for like discretion. <laughs> I mean, Steve hit it anywhere because it also I, I'm a little uh, stuffed up right now but it doesn't smell very much right no it doesn't really smell that that weedy or stinky um, so anyway go to blackout X and get those yeah I like this yeah I love them I'm so ha happy with them and then on the table we have a whole bunch of different things that you can uh, choose from pipe wise and uh, and I love this Gandalf pipe. they're mostly this shit is badass we call it the uh, Wonka pipe and there's even a Twitter account called Doug's Wonka pipe that somebody started and it says things like put me down uh, <laughs> at <laughs> at Steve Ag, what's your Twitter name? At Steve Ag. Perfect. And do you have a Twitter name, Dan? At Dan Harmon. Okay. Um, so Go the, figure. The sativa in all of these <gasps> is uh, called Candy Jack. And this is what it uh, looks like right here. And it is a potent sativa strain that our friends at Leafly uh, describe as happy and creative. But oh. can cause anxiety, Steve. Oh. It's a possible. <laughs> we'll see about that. It's a possible so. side well, effect. If anything can cause anxiety, you'll find out today, because I'm the parakeet in that mine. And one of, the, uh, <laughs> one of the reviews said, I was concerned because of the high THC level that I might be a little too high too fast, but it all worked out. <laughs> That's a testament. Like, Noam Chomsky said that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> a very smart person. And then uh, the indica that I only put in this bubble pipe that's very hard to clear and a lot of fun to try uh, is Master Bubba. And Leafly <laughs> describes that as a heavy indica that summons the munchies before lulling you to sleep. So it's the healthiest of I you're going to say it summons the munchies before you even smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> you just get near it. Oh, I, oh, I God, I'm stuff. hungry. And then the review somebody wrote is just three words, happy, hungry, sleepy. The three stages of Master Bubba. So uh, that's your options, fellas. Go ahead and uh, oh. go ahead and hit anything you want. Uh, I've got a vaporizer bag standing by because uh, I've had a bit of a cough and I don't want to have a coughing fit on the show. Wow. Like some sort of weed pussy. That's good. So I'm going to hit this thing. You know in the restaurant when uh, the guy's doing the specials and you're like so anxious because someone's you talking don't remember. to you? I don't remember. You just I spend the whole time going, oh, okay, all right, the calamari, it sounds good. And then he's finished. Any questions? And the real question I have is, what did you just say for the last five minutes about all of this? Um, <laughs> yeah. But do you I, have couldn't, spaghetti? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't possibly tell you what I said. But um, where was the happy, creative, sometimes anxious sativa? That, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think they kind of said similar things about both. You know, the bottom line is weed is great. It is. I've never and, seen uh, one of these. You that's point. a poke bowl where, like, you take. Uh, we don't have any pipes that are aren't, aren't uh, full that, of. No, they got to be full. But of they something. have to be small enough to. No, you can really jam anything in there, and you could also put. You can use, you can clear these things oh, with it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really uh, quite useful. David Cross. But not it. this. Right? Yeah. That's way too long. Well, that, you can't go this length, but how much oh, stuff is going to go get in. clogged in there? It's all gonna, it's all going to be in the bowl there. I don't know how they work. You don't know how these things go. Um, you guys are freaking me out. We're doing we're, get, we're doing <laughs> getting Doug with High Live again at Largo on Good uh, luck. on Monday. <laughs> Who's no Oh, you don't want to say. We so. try not to say things like Sarah Silverman might be there. It says um, uh, on this card, I wanted to, I I asked them to write this down so that I would ask you, is that something you would do, Dan, smoke in front of an audience? 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't. That wouldn't necessarily freak you out, right? You're comfortable in front of a crowd. Oh, you mean, do I, would I be worried it would be a bad show? I would worry it would be a bad show. So you'll get high before your live harm and tell I'm usually drunk. Some, every once in a while, just because of circumstances, like accidents. Like, I, I, I went to. Uh, oh, yeah, you get into a, a, a drunk driving accident. I went to, uh, I no, mean, yeah, uh, I, I went to a renaissance fair before one of the shows. Oh, that's that's accident. That's, you never do that on purpose. So we were smoking and <laughs> drinking the whole time, and I just, uh, yeah. Yeah, I Next thing you know, that. oh, it's time to go do my podcast, yeah. and I was at a Renaissance fair all day. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I was, let's I was, do this. Uh, I literally had a parrot on my shoulder and was like, I just had to tell them I'm really high. I'm not going to remember any of this. Uh, so I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's the good version of me in terms of a uh, interaction with an audience. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't even know if I if I'm supposed to be drunk all the time when I'm on stage, <laughs> but I am. I, 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 I that I don't know if sober me is better than drunk me, but I think that pot me is. A little, um, a little, uh, I, uh, I lose, Slower, I, lose your train of thought. I lose my, I, I lose, the first thing that goes out the door for me on pot is my sense of overkill. My sense of, like, whether or not it, I've done that joke 50 times yeah. in a funny way or, yeah. but if like, it just I, keeps going. Yeah. Everyone's unhappy. What is this? Uh, that is so that when you get down to a roach, you stick it into that frog's mouth. I and thought it was you... literally you take a hit and blow it through the frog. It's mouth. a very classy. Yeah, That'd take a hit awesome. and blow it out through the frog. That's a that's a that's a fun visual. The smoking frog. You could go up to somebody and say, "You go up to somebody and say, want to see a smoking frog?'" And then just do that. Yeah. Everyone will fall out. Sure, so fun. Uh, okay, that's cool. How are you doing so far, Dan? I'm 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 good. I'm not. I'm, I, I I can't tell how much how much <laughs> how much anxiety is uh, is uh, pot induced and how much is sitting in front of uh, thirty people and a bunch of cameras and lights. Yeah, and uh, we'll find out the tally. But probably about two thousand people watching live right now. Oh, and Jesus! Then, this uh, is live, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> But if you do, if there's anything you're unhappy with afterwards, we'll we'll dis, we'll discuss it. We'll talk about it. Well, uh, <laughs> this one guest on the show, Matt Walsh, came on, smoked like a champ, was an amazing guest, and then he went home and had probably talked to the wife or something. And then uh, next thing you know, he's like, "Can you guys take that down?" And I said, "We'll take it down if you make a video saying why you want to take it down." So now when you click on his episode, you think you're going to get his episode, and it's just him ex on his iPhone oh, explaining shit. why his episode isn't there anymore. Uh -oh, and wow. he even says Did at one point, "I'll do the show again sometime." Time, so I don't even know what he's talking about. Like, take it down, but I'll do it again. <laughs> Had a good time. So does it? Well, does it make? Maybe sense? when his kids are older, like he thinks I'm going to do this for 20 years. Oh, is that, is that the idea? I, it's, yeah. Some people don't do it because of their children. Right, right. Kumail doesn't do it because of his parents. Right. I don't do it because of his parents either. Oh, I guess I am Wait doing it right second. now. Never mind. That made no sense. Kumail even said, "I'll do it if it's not going to be on the internet." <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what that sentence means. That's just Because that's all it is, is a show your that's apartment on the internet. Is, yeah. what, watching I'll Gremlins come over too. and do it. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, we'll watch some Downton Abbey. And, um, when did you start? Let's do, uh, I like to do a segment called uh, that I called High History. And oh. you know that show at midnight that we've been on, Steve? Yep. Last night they did a hashtag war of High oh, History. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. And I, I guess no one over there watches this show, so they didn't know they were stealing that In, expression. Infringing. But, uh, right? Yeah. But the, the, uh, uh, I came up with some. Uh, the Boston THC party oh, sure. is a good hashtag for high history. And uh, the, the dime bag Louisiana purchase. Oh. Or the Louisiana dime bag purchase. Anyway. The, the ha hashtag war? Yeah, where, have you seen At Midnight? It's a comedy oh, game yeah, show yeah. that Chris is that, is, that, is that all it means, is just people doing the... You just have to buzz this. in and just think of uh, different hashtags, but then they put it on Twitter, <laughs> and I, I like to play along and come up with one. Did you just think of one? Yeah. We... Weed World Two, <laughs> World Weed Weed World Two. Okay. The Greatest Generation. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm a so you're pretty now. high. You're pretty high. Uh, you're doing all right. That made no sense what I just said. Did you start World. when you were a kid, Dan, smoking the weed? I don't think I. No, I was probably. 17, um, is that a kid? I don't know, yeah. the kids are so young Kid these days. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're getting, getting younger seems like they're all getting the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, uh, I, it was high school, it was like, and it was like a time in high school when I was kind of done. I, 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 I had gotten into a college already, I think. Oh, so okay. I, before that I was kind of scared of it because my older brother is five years older than me, so he, 
he got high and my experience, my cultural uh, perception of pot was formed in the context of like, oh my shit, you, you, your brother's on drugs. You, right, you know, right. He needs to go, he needs to go <laughs> to a special place and it's, it's drugs, it's drugs. And all of this is in the larger context of the 80s when they really went to town. When AIDS was at its height. Uh, so, I, so I had to be like- AIDS was really uh, tall then. I had to be pretty re relaxed and not worried about, oh my God, I'm doing drugs in order to, I, I was, a, I was d d drinking early on. Uh, uh, but uh, but yeah, it was, it was so like you kept going senior with, year, like, going straight through with both, like weed and alcohol have been constants. Yeah, it's not like yeah, I never stopped or anything. It, yeah, yeah, uh, anything in particular. I've taken a little break here and there for experiments. Yeah, but uh, I still keep going. Every year I take one whole month off of alcohol, and it just moves around the year depending on when I think I'd want to do it. Like right now would be a bad month because of the World Cup. Oh yeah, you can't watch the World Cup and not get drunk. Yeah, That'd be stupid. I guess. Um, um, Steve, we talked about your high history on the on the live show. Yeah, I do don't we remember also what ask I said, you, though. Do we ask you on the live show if you, who the most famous person you ever smoked weed with? We did, and I couldn't really say. You couldn't say. come up with one? No, I couldn't say. Oh, it's a secret? Yeah. Give us, uh, I can't. as I, my friend Sarah Silverman would say, 20 questions. 20 questions, I know. No, I can't. Because I don't know if they're... Uh, in fact, I don't think they're is it, known. Is it Michelle Obama? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I should just, I, that's how I save my voice. I'll just whisper all my questions. I don't think it's her. Have you ever been busted for weed at all? No, I almost did, though. When I was in college, uh, me and my friend decided to go up and visit another friend who went to UC Santa Barbara. And uh, he had never smoked pot before. So I was like, I'm going to get you high in Santa Barbara, man. It's, it's going to be fun weekend. And so we go to my friend's apartment, and we're in there. And I'm buying this weed from him. And my my friend who had never smoked was there with his girlfriend, and they were fighting. And so they went outside to this park, and they were just fighting. And I, so I bought this dime bag of weed off my friend, and we rolled a joint, and we smoked it, and I got incredibly high. And I'm like, I'm gonna go get my friend. And uh, I put the bag in my pocket, and as I'm walking out the door, my friend was like, you should probably leave that here. I was like, all right. And so I left it there. And then I went out to this park. And I see my friend on the far end of the park fighting with his girlfriend. And I go, hey. And he looks over across the park. And it's like 9 o'clock at night. He just yells, did you get the weed? <laughs> and as soon as he said that, two cops come riding out on these bicycles. And I just go, <laughs> no, they were all out. And I turn, <laughs> I turn around and I start running. They were all out. And then I just hear freeze. <laughs> I was trying as hard as I could to, to get it. I, 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 I want you to suspend some disbelief. They didn't know what it was. I, 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 I accept that I'm, I, I, I cut the silhouette of a person who participates in drugs on a regular basis. However, tonight's not the night. <laughs> Get ready. He's going to do 48 more of those. Uh, <laughs> the rest of the yeah, show, we just keep yelling shit through our hands. So the cops grab us, and they, and they have us sitting on the curb while they're checking our IDs and stuff. And my friend, who was only 20 at the time, borrowed like five different people's uh, IDs. So he had like five different IDs and the cops are looking at him and they're like, well, Mr. George, <laughs> or is it Mr. Ryan? And, and uh, 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 so that can't uh, look good. He got several he, IDs. He caught the jackal. <laughs> he got in, in trouble for that. But uh, uh, I was really high and just being an idiot. And um, one of the cops at one point was like, was like, listen, if you want to, we can, we can take this down to the station. And I go, um, how are you going to get us all down there on your bike? <laughs> and he was so mad, he started screaming no, at yeah, me. It's that a, can't, it's that a can't be honest question. Thing. Honest question. Uh, we'll be right back, you guys. We've got to go to a break. We'll be right back. Mount Rushmore. 
I thought if we're gonna do it live in front of an audience, why not go for full-blown train wreck? Where do we do weed bits into this? How come Dorf on marijuana. You know, dabs make them sound a lot more harmless than they are. <laughs> Just a dab. <laughs> Gotta check in with Joey one more time. See how he's doing. Tremendous. <laughs> I swear on the fucking flaming balls of Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> Did you say 31? Harris, that's insane. <laughs> we'll be right back. It's so, the camera's there. I say it. Do you think people just cheered for you picking up shit? <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back, and uh, sometimes in a room full of people, just yelling fan doesn't really indicate what you're trying to get them to do. I mean, you, you don't think we hear that all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> fan! Um, fan! Benson! So, Benson! 2,000. <laughs> 2,001 viewers right now watching us Holy live. Shit. Yeah. And, uh, and at the very beginning of the show, somebody, uh, Doug's Bubble Pipe, that's this one, tweeted, Doug is already high. <laughs> that's how smart, well not smart, the bubble pipe was here when I got high earlier before the show. Oh no, this and is feedback. You this called feed, me out on it. Feedback on getting high. No, yeah, wait them. until they, you hear what they have to say about you. No, they just write in nice questions. Uh, not always. I've seen some of the comments on the YouTube page. This is, a, like, this is, a, this is an anxiety at, high person. Look at 11 minutes and 43 seconds in. He didn't even take a huge hit. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't hold it in long enough, so he's not high. And then it's like a whole thread of like, Fuck you, you don't need to hold it in for two minutes, you fucking idiot. And they're like, it. fuck you, yeah, it gets you hot. It's a whole fucking thing. Oh, no, I'm not going near that. At, I feel like David Blaine, at, but, but, but I'm the uncool one. Yeah, yeah. That capuchin, which I assume is like a capuchin monkey, a monkey. Uh, wrote, Steve looks mad uncomfortable in that chair. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable chair, I'll say that, but it beats a bar stool. And Savy Sar, well, S-A-V-I-E, oh, they'll put it on the screen. Savy Star wants to know, can Dan Harmon freestyle rap when he's high? Oh my God. Can I, can I not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's an option. I just, it's more no, of a, I mean, I mean, is, can you find a way to stop me? I'm, oh, saying, okay. I'm like David Banner asking, is there a cure to this science that I'll drop it? <laughs> All right, then uh, let's, uh, should we, what do you need to get started? Oh no, we can do it later, put a pin in it. Okay. You're, <laughs> the, you're in the middle of a segment, so you can't have a sub-segment called rap. Oh no, you know, the, the Twitter question, they pour in throughout the show because we'll continue to do things that people think are wrong. I'm sure people love uh, the sound of chewing. That's gonna be that's gonna be a big hit. Can you put a guy around me? No, people are gonna be like, what's with what was in that bowl? Uh, nothing apparently. It's just a bowl. Ice and uh, bowl. it was an ice bowl. Ice cube. Yeah, because we put an ice cube in the ice cubes in that bong just to give that a nice fun. Have you hit that yet, Steve? The bowl? The bong? Oh. No, but I don't like doing bongs. I like joints or... But give it a try. It'll be fun. No, no, no. no we, we set up a special thing. What's special about it? It's a kind of a practical joke. A snake's going to jump out. <laughs> well, fuck me. Come on, just do no, it. No, I don't want to do that, then. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's like the Steve Irwin of getting high. Like he, he's, he's just uh, like, no, come on. It's a, it's a ticklish girl. And it's like, that's an alligator. Stop it. I'm really freaking out. We had that guy, Dominic, uh, from Wild Things with Dominic. Oh, uh, on, uh, we had him on this very show. And uh, he, I he, love that. He doesn't get high before he messes with us. What? I love that's the show you said he's from and not lost or no because the story Lord is the that Rings. he goes out and does you know what he was just talking about with all the crazy creatures and he but he I asked him and he says he's not high when he does that cool. but I would think you'd have to be high to fucking yeah. mess with tarantulas and shit yeah uh -huh. I was high on him <laughs> I was high on a morning TV show one time and they uh, uh, every time but I, this one time they had me hold cock a cockroach in my hand nope and uh, <laughs> I, but I always hated cockroaches too but when you hold them they don't skitter around they just stay s still so it's not as scary yeah. it's scary how they move like when you turn on the 
light, Whoa. then they, like something's really up, you know? Like, uh, okay, yeah. You that know is, what I mean? That is the, that is the scariest it's thing It's startling. That. Do you yeah. know that they have photoreceptors in the bases of their legs? They're running before they know, before they're- They don't know why they're doing it. I mean, they're a cockroach like, doesn't know anything ever. Its brain is the size of an atom, but 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 it, it, it the, their, their legs are moving in response to light before the central organism makes a decision to run. That's I don't even awesome. know what you guys are That's talking about. <laughs> well, he was, what do you mean? We're you not guys, even talking. I was just nodding. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Their light legs. They just fucking. They just go. Their legs, all their legs have solar panels on them. <laughs> it, so they're not biological. So they're not controlled I love by the mind. I'm mine. jumping yeah. in trying oh, to explain it, and I just crazy. learned it myself. Here's yeah. what it is. Steve. They're trying to get out of the light. Yeah, the light. Their, their legs well, are. The light means and then the, a people. Their legs are like vampire. They have vampire legs, and if they touch light, they fucking. The legs run. They also oh, cannot They up. cannot see their own legs in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you have to invite their legs into your pantry. Don't get them wet after midnight. <laughs> so uh, let's do some pot topics. Oh. Things pot. are happening. Pop. Things are happening in the news. <laughs> what, Did someone that do that live? <laughs> no. You either, oh, I see there's a speaker It's Memorex. That's 20 grand or a lawsuit. <laughs> you think? Yeah, that's, I don't know. I thought it was the two it's ladies three right notes. there that saying Yeah, pot it's two few notes. It's like if we stole by Menon. Yeah. Um, or happy birthday. That's all we need. But you know, podcasting is a, there's nobody's getting charged for music yet. Yeah. You know, that hasn't happened. So I, I try not to do use any for that reason. But uh, Hillary Clinton is in the news with regards to pot. Oh no. Because now that she might be running for El Presidente, she is saying, yeah, I might legalize that. I'm not. Oh. I'm not totally against it. And she's always been against it. So now there's this swing. And, uh, you know, of course, conservatives are saying she's just saying that to get votes. And, and it'll I work. think, well, yeah, why the hell not? I th that's why everyone's getting wise to weed is to either get votes or money. Meaning that you don't think or she'll, high. Follow, she'll follow up on it. She doesn't have to follow up on it. The whole country is going to legalize in almost every state. And it's just going to become second nature that, like, just weed's legal here, you know? Like, no president's going to have to make that decision. Sweet. It's, all politicians don't have to weigh in on pot. I think as soon as you open your mouth, you're going to lose a lot of people one way or the other, you know? So it's easier to just sit back and let it go the way it's going. Nothing bad has happened in Colorado since it was legalized. No. I mean, why, it, well, when you think about the the fact that booze is legal and how insane that would be if you described that to an alien. <laughs> like, yeah. like, they're, they're, like, they're like, well, wouldn't there then be a store every two blocks full of it? And wouldn't it? Wouldn't the, the blocks between those places all be filled with places to drink it? it. Wouldn't, and wouldn't, it, wouldn't it, and they would describe all those things and you're like, nah, but that, I mean, that's people, true with booze yeah. because it's a different kind of substance, but we have capitalized on that. And it, I mean, pot would, uh, Boy, I should, yeah, oh man, I just realized what I'm doing. What's that, like really great? Well, that, that's free. not bites for uh, weed. Yeah. weed no, 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 well that thing where high, high, the, the, the time you're talking about government policy concerning marijuana is, is, is <laughs> when, you're, when you're the worst spokesman ever. I mean, you, you've caught me at the most charismatic time in my life. I'd like to tell you how to vote. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm brushing it, no, dragging no, it off my shoulder at, we're while not, I'm telling you what to do. We're not changing any minds that have <laughs> decided to tune in at 4.15 Pacific yeah. Standard Time. Everyone out there smoking with us, and uh, I'm gonna hit this ice thing because I realized my since my throat hurts a little bit. Oh, it'll help. It might help. But of course, nothing bad is happening in Colorado, which is the, 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 yeah. That's that was my point, and now Jamaica. I'm sure, bad mind. things have happened in Colorado, <laughs> not, not pot related, but right, like, yeah, yeah. Kid probably got beat up at school. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> their their maps are squares. Yeah. <laughs> what, how do I even know? That's no fun. What, what if it gets turned upside down and you end up uh, wrong side of the state? Yep. Yeah, because because you wouldn't notice all the names of the cities are upside. Down. And oh. a lot of the neighboring states are because you're too high. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I live on the East Coast now. Jamaica <laughs> wants to uh, decriminalize marijuana. The parliament's going to vote in the fall, and they're going to reduce it to a ticketable offense. And do you know why? Do either of you know why? Because mm -mm. there's a lot of it. Because of the tourists. Are we acquiring Jamaica? <laughs> wrong, wrong, and wrong. Rastafarians consider marijuana a herb of religious significance. Oh. Yeah. 
So uh, that's how they're that's how they're making it happen. Me, me, they meaning the Jamaican government, like like that's how it finally they have their own. They're finally struggle. like, well, since Rastafarians say it's religious, then uh, okay, let's go ahead. And so and, that, and it's this, the same way that California it was medical. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's just always this long-standing thing that was trying yeah, to happen. You get there. the best loophole you can, and you run through it. That's that's always been my. Uh, how I feel about it, and and you know, now that we've got it legal in two places, that's like they can skip the medical thing. Most probably won't. It'll become medical first and then legal. But what are you laughing at, Steve? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Marvel Duke cartoon he ran in '98. Uh, he, he hates Mondays too. <laughs> he just got that. <laughs> uh, most people got that on Tuesday. Um, yeah, the Twitter questions might get more specific in the uh, 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 by the next segment. We should just go ahead and fly in some Twitter questions that are uh, specifically for these guys, because a lot of these are just kind of generic, like, uh, uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> 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 or the most important specific question we've ever gotten in our lives. What are hey, you doing, man? That could be Napoleon, or the ghost of my grandpa, <laughs> calling out from the shores of Guadalcanal. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Why is this? Grab a gun. There's foreigners everywhere. Get to work. Um... So you get, yeah, I think you were telling me before the show that you get you get there pretty fast. Like once you start smoking, you get pretty high pretty quickly. Yeah. So you're, so you're, <laughs> so you're good right now? I'm hot high right now. All right. High is good, right? Yeah, it's great. I don't want to answer wrong. I'll take the bag back, <laughs> thanks. Um, uh, but how do you, how will you feel knowing that people are calling you a pussy right now? <laughs> Are you, are you okay with it? I, I say screw them, personally. If you I don't, don't feel like hitting it more. I'm a control freak, so I, I like to be the first person to call myself a pussy, but I, I, it still hurts. Right, um, yeah. Like, I want people to like me, I want to fit in, but I know that the only way I can do that is by being honest and saying, I'm too high. I'll take one more hit to Yay! show you. <laughs> Prove that you're too high. Is this the Bubba Wubba Gump Gump uh, or the uh, Teeny Marie? It doesn't have a name yet, but uh, people can I think vote. it's the same stuff that's in this pipe, right? All these pipes have the same shit? Someone called No, Vapor. one of them was like called the Vortex of Despair. I'm sorry, it was saying like heavy, heavy indica that alarmed me. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the heavy indicas in, in, in this thing right here. <laughs> Uh, Vapor Jesus wrote in. Oh, that's a great name. To say, uh, this is the best episode yet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then there's a couple of critical things that I'm going to go ahead and skip, because wh why did he go on? That's all I needed to hear. Oh, Please shit. let Steve Ag know he owes me seventeen fifty from a lunch we had together at Red Lobster outside of Tampa in 96. Oh, my God. Is that true? I... Did you eat at a no. Red Lobster? I did go to See, this Tampa. is the kind of shit you can pull on a stoner. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's like a really specific bioluminescent adaptation <laughs> in the deep seas of being high. I There's one been, guy that asks, uh, he's like, give him the details. I've been to Tampa. Because this guy is high too, I bet. At Mark underscore Sanford. He couldn't even get Mark Sanford. Somebody beat him or to Fred it. Fred Sanford and his son. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, shit. Dan, go ahead and freestyle for us. We, we put a pin in it, but we're, we don't have that much time. I need a beat. Okay, see, that's I, I asked earlier, what do you need? Because I, 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 I don't have any it. beats on me. I'm sorry. Steve, do you have a beat? <laughs> that can keep going? Boom, boom, yo. Boom, yo. Yo. Boom, yo. Boom. Green leafing, boom, hanging boom, with dog. I'm a motherfucking boom, being boom, a thug. I'm boom, sitting and freestyling, smoking pot. Boom, I fucked your mama in Salem's boom, lot. There was a boom, vampire came boom, out with boom, teeth. I said, What boom, the fuck? I'm in a Minnesota with teeth. You gonna boom, suck my dick boom, like a bowl boom, of soup? I said, boom, Eat my tea. Boom, drink boom, my poop. Cause boom, poop is liquid and pee boom, is boom, solid. solid. When you boom, like me and your life boom, is squalid, boom, <laughs> you got health problems living in a tent. Fucked your mama for the Boom, boom, rent. <laughs> I was wondering. I was, wondering. <laughs> I was dying to know what kind of rent it was going to be. Yeah. Motherfucker was, or something. You know what that space was? I was, I was? I was like, okay, rent. Gotta end with rent. 
I tried to think of what's the pepper to rent salt. <laughs> so, you know, I fucked your mama for the for the for the rights. I fucked your mama for the rent. You know, like yeah, yeah. There's no there's nothing paired with rent. Mm-mm. Eviction. No, there's no fuck your mama for the lease. Fuck your mama for the rent. That's what it is. I fucked uh, your mama for the lease. Fuck your mama for the rent. I fucked your mama for the mortgage, but the money was lease. spent. Put titty on her foot and her foot in a shoe. I fucked your mama purple. I fucked your mama blue. blue. <laughs> <laughs> that one was so tossed off. Very casual. What would your review, Dan Harmon, be? Well, first of all, everybody do this for that. What would your review of this sativa we've been smoking be for just a one sentence review that they could put on uh, Leafly? Creative. Or Leaf Lie, as uh, Matt Walsh likes to call it. What? Creative. One word. Just That's it? Know. Creative? No, it doesn't have to be one word. Like a sentence? Oh. Uh, I said the, sentence. The, 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 the best of the best. This sativa um, really stands up to uh, the postmodern uh, wave of uh, new <laughs> sticky, sticky, sticky chronic okay. rings. So you got to leave in the us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, ghosts! <laughs> this whole table, it's just like a big Ouija board. Uh, I'd Steve, say it's more like the lowest stakes I'd say it's more like life ever. <laughs> Beetlejuice's pipe. All right. This is also. Let's give it a new name, Beetlejuice's pipe. But just don't say no, it three don't times. Want to yeah, when you smoke around. it three times, something. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Stop. Motion. Michael Keaton will be annoying. Um, they're making a Beetlejuice too, though. I'm kind of excited about it. Oh, yeah. Is it called Beetlejuice? Beetle or deuce. Toodle juice. Beetle deuce. Because I know they're going to do that. I know they're going to put two in the title. I don't know. Okay. We got to stop that. Did Let's you go, review, Dan. Did you review it yet, Steve? Review what? Beetle juice? No. Oh, the weed. I would. I, I would like a quick review of Beetle juice. I'd say the weed was very. Um, it did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> It was just fun. It was a, it's, a, it's a fun weed, Doug. <laughs> Don't drag me into it. It's for I'm Leafly. always worried I'll get paranoid it's in this. Because you said this would have paranoia, possibly, but no. My skull has an Irish waterfall in it. That kind of thing? Is that what they want? Oh, that's pretty good. Is it good. them requesting it? Sure. It's a happy high. It's a hat full of heads. This leafy... Green uh, wonder wonder <laughs> wonderkind. <laughs> those are all good. Those are all good. We're let's, ruining let's it. Let's throw those on there. No, it's that's that's the you know that's part of the fun of it is reading the crazy things that people uh, people write about it. And um, we're gonna have one more uh, break coming up. So if there's anything you guys, uh, if there's any shit you need to get together. What do you, what do you have? Uh, just where are you at right now? Are you, you're. <laughs> You're not paranoid. You said that. Yeah, no, I'm and very you're, you're kind comfortable. Of la almost laughy and um, comfortable. Like I, I gotta be pretty comfortable to sit like how you're sitting right now. I do this when I like get a in, little bit. It looks like you're in a lounge chair. I do this when I get a little much because it feels good on my head. Like I'm holding it down. Hold it all together. Yeah. Like it's almost like a balloon, and it's gonna leave my shoulders. <laughs> You're but good, though. You're good, me. though. Yeah, great. And you're doing all right, Dan? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we just got one more segment, but it's, it's the most intense one, because that's where we have to remember our plugs oh, okay. and uh, do something else that's very special. So we will be right back. from Mount Rushmore. <laughs> I thought if we're gonna do it live in front of an audience, why not go for full-blown train wreck? Where do we do weed bits into this? How Dorf make on marijuana. You know, dabs make them sound a lot more harmless than they are. <laughs> Just a dab. <laughs> Just a dab. <laughs> 
<laughs> Gotta Steve check in with Joey here. one more time. See how he's doing. Tremendous. <laughs> I swear on the fucking flaming balls of Kathy Lee Gifford. Did you say 31? Harris, that's insane. We'll be right back. It's, it's, the camera's there. I say it. Do you think people just cheered for you picking up shit? <laughs> Hey, we're back. I'm going to just get this out of the way right now because this Thursday, June 19th, I'm doing a Benson movie interruption of Revenge of the Nerds in Philadelphia at the uh, Trocadero. Booger is going to be there. Remember Booger? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, there. yeah. Uh, and then Monday night here in Los Angeles, June 23rd, Getting Doug with High returns to Largo for another action packed or in action packed, as the case may be, <laughs> uh, Steve episode <laughs> that will stream live and not be available again until July 2nd. There's no no new show July 2nd, so that week we're going to put in the show from Largo. So watch it live Monday night, 9.15 Pacific time. You can figure the rest out, right? That would be like 12.15 a.m. East Coast. All of my dates and deets and links are at DougLovesMovies.com. Yeah. yeah. 2,229 people. We gained 228 viewers. That's all right. Probably from the freestyling. Yeah. You know, some people probably Someone ran, ran, out ran in the over for that. Oh, they think it was like Morpheus was fighting Neo. Yeah. Someone yeah. ran out in the yard. Oh. Harmon's rapping. Freestyling on Doug's pot show? Not possible. <laughs> and then you did it. Nobody so. does this when they get high. Nobody. You know, that's a very special trait you have. Yours is that. Mine is uh, putting together this show. <laughs> Nobody else has done that. Um, this is a fun game somebody wrote in that we could play real quick. Yard in 85 wants to know, uh, who of the three of us is carrying the most cash on them right now? <laughs> I think it's I'm, very weird I have question, a $20 right? bill on me. That's it? That's it. Okay, what do you think you got, Dan? I, have, I, I think I have about 17 bucks. So I think Steve's the winner so far. Do you have to look? I do have to look, yeah. All right. Oh. Now you're really going to give him the inside info. While it's empty. Okay. So I'm down to the... <laughs> Check the but there's like a thousand dollars. There's like I have like eight dollars, but I want to note that one of them has discarded bubble gum in it because I don't give a fuck. He spits his gum into <laughs> bills. Spit my gum in a dollar bill in the car right over here. That's amazing. So you win then? Well, my fucking flagrant disregard for currency. That's impressive. I think the richest so. man in this room. I think so. That's I, impressive. I agree. I agree. It's like Richie Rich, he, he sleeps on money, doesn't he? Like, yeah. Like, sleep on shit that you respect. He fucks on money. <laughs> All right, you guys. Is he sleeping on it? Something has to happen right now that we do at the uh, end of every show when the guests. It's, it's, you vote someone off. Oh, I know what it kill is. Myself. <laughs> no. I, I, this has been a fucking study in every. Dan, nightmare. I've made my decision. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to have to live with it. Um, no, what we do at this point in the show is we, and Steve should already know this. We we uh, make you watch a magic trick, or you you get to watch a magic trick. Here's my friend Gabe, magic trick. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Steve. How are you? Hey, Dan. Uh, here's cards. Take so those for me. I, uh, you can take them all. I take them all. All right. Look through them and find the card you like. Have Steve help you. <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> just uh, find a card that I like. Yeah. Have Steve. Like, 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 Pick one you're particularly fond of. What stands uh, out? What's one that stands out? Well, you don't show him. Oh, show me. Oh, fuck. I can God see this it. time. It's fine. Just choose a card. You can see the card? Yeah, just find one. <laughs> Just find one. I got it. I, I found a bunch of them. And I, I found one at random. I found fifty-two, Gabe. But do I do I, do I put I, it down face up on the table? Okay, okay. I like all of them. Steve, do you like it? I don't know what it is. It's just stalling so you can take a bomb rip. That's more or less it. Okay. Oh, that's a good Let's one, face Dan. Up. That's fine. Seven of clubs. Are you happy with that card? <laughs> oh my so God, he got all, it right. We all know the card. Okay, Where's I've got a deck magic? over here. So, and th there's something else that's coming up. I actually, um, I knew you weren't going to choose any of these cards. That's why I put what? X's on every one. Okay. Except for one. What the fuck? Seven of clubs. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Okay. So it has to go back to me picking the card. I had to pick the card they wanted to wanted pick. We just got magic. But I was fucking high. How did they make me, I mean, on one hand, how did they not 
I don't know how they do it. <laughs> that, bata that battalion of magic. They, they ten fingers on Gabe's hands. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah, good job, Gabe. You want to try this? <laughs> uh, I, 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 all right. I'm going to take a hit of bullying. <laughs> no, bullying. no bullying. <coughs> everybody, the I think the freestyle really won everybody over, if there was any, no, anybody that wasn't into you or, or, uh, or your work. Like, uh, who gets high at, at community? Does any of those actors get high? I know Gillian doesn't do well, that I don't sort think, of thing. I don't think actors can do anything while they're actually actively on a network show other than, like, they, they don't have time. They to just have anything. to be an acting machine. Yeah, and, and in between there, if they're doing anything that involves their body and they're on a network TV show, they're probably thinking about, like, they're... they're, they're like, it's just like being in the so army. So Steve showed is, 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 cable's different. Like a cable, you can just yeah, live like, the life like, you're like, living like, all network, the time. If you're doing like 25 episodes a year, which is what, what it can sometimes be. Uh, yeah, it, it, well, while they're on that duty, that tour of duty, they're not doing anything in between any night of the week except. Yeah, Mikhail's like, like squeezing in like movies during the hiatus. Like crazy, that guy's in everything. Yeah, he was in one of those Spy Kids. And he always has to do that. He's still doing the soup soup talk, right? Where he goes, where goes on and soup. talks about various types of soup. Kitchen soup. Keep doing that soup. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Agee. Thank you, Dan Harmon. Thank you, Doug. A couple of class acts. We'll see you on Monday and next Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel YouTube.com slash Doug Benson.